What's up dudes, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to use my experience of solo queuing to Diamond and Rainbow Six to help out the fellow solo queue warriors of the world. Enjoy the video, I hope you can learn something. These are the absolute best ranked solo queue setups that require no additional teammate utility and forces attackers to work together in order to clear you from that spot. Using these setups will give you an instant advantage on defense and allow you to win your solo queue games more often. Starting off with my personal favorite, this is a cafe bar cocktail defense set up using a Rooney. Setting up this way is very strong against the typical ranked attack where attackers will go to the roof and attempt to drop red or new hatch in order to gain control of the cigar shop. The reason this is so strong of a counter to this is because if the attackers decide to drop the red hatch, the footholds along the wall will allow you to see the attackers without them being able to see you, making for an easy wall bang to take them out. Having the Rooney Gate set up this way also makes it more difficult for the attackers to drone and move around freely in this area. Playing piano gives you a lot of different positions to utilize, such as being behind the ticket bar or along the stage half wall. You can also drop out through the piano hatch or hop out the ticket window for players playing on the repel as well. Now as an attacker, the best way to counter this hold is to get on the south stage window to shoot the piano player in the back while your team drops the red hatch simultaneously. Be careful because the south repel is exposed to multiple peaks, such as a player hopping out the dining window or shooting you from the garage door. Ideally, an attacker would have a teammate watching for this from the repel as well, or even just sitting on the ground watching it. Having drone info on the piano player will help a lot, allowing you to peek him the second he turns away, or be able to get a grenade on him from the window. Another good option for the attackers is to actually open the red wall from the hatch with either a Buck or Zofia, and then using Buck's flashbangs or Zofia's stuns on the piano player while dropping the red hatch. The key to a strong attack on any map is to work together, so dropping the hatch together to find the piano player might be your team's best option on this Aruni. This next setup is using Alibi for the trophy statue bombsite on Villa. The objective of the strategy is to contest the attackers as they try to get into the closet or master bedroom area. The prismas on the bathroom and closet window make it impossible for the attackers to hop in without getting alibi pinged. This forces them to either make the decision to use a grenade or impact to destroy the prisma, or hop in through it and sacrifice being pinged. It also makes it more challenging for them to take gunfights from these two windows, obscuring their vision and making it an unfavorable fight to take. As Alibi, what you'll want to do from this position is shoot as many drones as you can and spray through the wall and windows to kill the players on the master balcony. Once the shield gets destroyed, it's time to give this position up and fall back to Astro to play behind cover. If you have a teammate who's willing to help out, have him go Jaeger and put an ADS to help protect your shield. As an attacker, the main objective is to clear the bathroom shield as it is the only thing providing the defender with cover. The easiest way to clear the shield is by lobbing a nade in through the bathroom window or driving a Flores drone through the bathroom drone hole. Once the shield is clear, the gunfight on the bathroom player is a much more favorable one. Use flashbangs or Zofia stunts to disorient the bathroom player, then hop in through the bathroom window to take the fight. The biggest concern as an attacker at this point would be any defenders playing a nitro underneath or a defender getting aggressive on the master or bathroom doors as you are hopping in. So once you hop in the window, be ready to fight more than just the bathroom player. In master door. Reloader standing. What the f What the f dude? Dude, that no chance. No chance, bro. Moving on, we have the kids' dorms bomb site on Oregon, where we will be using a Rooney to hold armory and master bedroom. We start off by placing the Aruni gates on Big Window, Trophy Door, and Master Door. We then open a line of sight from Armory to Master using Aruni's Fist, so that we can watch for attackers walking in the Master Door. Making another punch hole in the Armory floor allows you to see attackers walking into the garage, and can sometimes lead to a free kill. The purpose of this hold is to force attackers to clear you out of Armory, which is a decision that not many ranked teams will make. If you're not cleared out, then the attackers are left with multiple avenues of pressure coming from Trophy, Games Breach, and Armory, making Master a complete death trap to be standing in. The key to this being successful is to stay alive at all costs. If the attackers do end up killing you, all of the pressure from that side of the map is lost and they no longer have to worry about being shot in the back. If the attackers do try to clear you out by getting on the Armory or Satellite windows, a safe exit is dropping out through the garage hatch and running away. 
As an attacker, it can be tough to clear the player out of armory, which is part of the reason why the solo hold is so strong. One solution is to drive a drone in through the lobby door and up the stairs to find out where the armory player is. Using this information, try to grenade the player in armory through the floor or from the armory window. A good technique on the window is to throw a grenade in the spot the defender is and then shoot at them as they are running away from the grenade. The second option is to use flashbangs to blind the armory player as you're repelling in, but this way might be more difficult as you could potentially end up blinding yourself and losing the fight. You could also try walking in through the main door and up the armory stairs to take a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with the player in armory. This approach would be even more successful if you had a teammate on the armory repel while you're doing it. Overall, armory is a pretty tough spot to pin down without strong team play, and playing this spot will give most ranked teams a tough time. No mag going to your garage door underneath you, Fox. Pop the hatch and drop. She's gonna be right next to you. Huh? On your right. Oh my god. Thanks, good call. attic wall right now. Theme Park is a notoriously permaband ranked map. However, it's actually one of my favorite maps to play in ranked, especially when Mira is left unbanned. This is a Mira setup for the Bunks Daycare bomb site that allows you to hold the entire opposite side of the map all by yourself, while still setting your team up for success on the other side. Start it off by reinforcing the wall between sites and put a mirror facing cafe. Then go into daycare and shoot open the soft wall at head level using her secondary shotgun. If your teammates have already reinforced this wall, then don't worry about it. After this, run to initiation and reinforce the left wall facing control and put down your second mirror on it as far to the right as possible. This is where you'll play. The point of putting the second mirror here is to make it so the attackers can't push through control into initiation, which then funnels them into waiting room. Using that knowledge as a defender, we can sit and hold the door that leads to waiting room using the deep initiation wall as a bunker spot, which is a very favorable fight to take. It is important to check your mirror every few seconds to make sure there aren't any attackers trying to sneak through control. If they do happen to sneak in behind the desk, use your nitro cell to get a free kill. Attacking an anchor spot as strong as this is not the easiest thing to do, with the best option being to open or deny the mirror window from being used. The most obvious way to do this is using a Twitch drone, Aces, Selmas, or Habana to remove the mirror window from play. If you are in the situation where you can't open the wall, using a smoke grenade on the mirror window or throwing a soft grenade behind it is the next best option. Use the utility to push up on the mirror and break the glass by meleeing it, and once the mirror window is gone, so is the defender's advantage. This is a good time to back up, redrone the area, and proceed as necessary in order to get the control and maybe even the kill. Next up, we have a consulate basement defense using Cade. These invincible Cade claws are immune to grenades through the drone hole as well as Callie's lance on the wall, making for impressively hard to clear defense. With Thatcher being banned in 99% of ranked games, this go-to strat is a favorable one. Start off by reinforcing the three garage walls, then make holes in these two spots using Cade's revolver. It's very important you get these spots right or your electrical claw might not reach the wall. Once the attackers realize they can't get the cake claws off the wall, one of their only options is to walk into the yellow stairs door to try and shoot them off. Any of these few angles are very defender favored and will allow you to damage or even kill the players walking in the stairs. If they do happen to get the cake claws off, fall back to play white van, or make your way to pipes to watch for attackers coming through the breach. Attacking against this strategy really isn't fun because it requires you to get into piano safely in order to get the cade charges off from above. To do this, go to the front door and drone out lobby, bathroom, and piano area. After that, walk in from lobby door to piano, being aware of your yellow and lobby side flanks, as well as the hatches from above. And then you open a hole above the cake claw. Be careful not to get nitroed from below while doing it as well. Uh, the easiest way to get the claw is to drive your drone from the garage drone hole and ping the claw, then hop off your drone and shoot it through the floor. Again, this is not an ideal or fun situation to be in because being flanked while doing this is pretty common. Another attacking solution to this is avoiding the problem altogether by going in through the visa door and rushing the blue hatch into kitchen, which is basically a random gamble that works sometimes and doesn't others. Moving up a couple floors, we have a yellow stairs hold for the CEO site using Jaeger along with his trusty M870 shotgun. And before you ask, yes, I do use this strategy in champion level rank games. When you spawn in, head over to the yellow stairs and put all three ADSs on the wall. Run down the stairs a bit and place both pieces of barbed wire spread out appropriately. Since your setup is short and you have the shotgun, make a few rotate holes for your team in the bathroom to yellow wall, connector to CEO, and long distance to projector. 
You might as well pop open the hatches in Projector and CEO as well. The purpose of this hold is to deny the enemy team from gaining control of yellow stairs. This is a life or death hold where you try to take as many people down with you as you possibly can. The M870 is an absolute beast at this range and don't be afraid to shove your face in the yellow or bathroom windows to contest people playing on those repels. If you notice that no attackers are coming up the yellow stairs on you, then don't be afraid to go all the way down and run out the yellow door with your pistol out to shoot players on the CEO or yellow repels. If I was an attacker in this situation, I would probably never even attempt to clear this player unless I was Capital. The coordination required to burn all three ADSs and then successfully nade the spot the defender is in, all while having a teammate hold him from the bathroom window, is simply too much to ask for a solo key ranked attack team. Instead, I would get up on the CEO and connector repels to try and get picks on defenders exposing themselves to the windows. If you wear down the defenders in other areas, the yellow player will have to leave his post to help his team in other ways, or else he's risking losing the round. I hope you learned something from this video. I'm looking to do more educational Rainbow Six content in the future, so let me know in the comments whether or not you enjoyed it and what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and stay chillin'. Hello, or should I go to the That's hilarious.